together when your relationship is falling apart on the next Oprah Winfrey Show. Today at 4, followed by Eyewitness News here on Channel 7. Well, our next guest took over the seductive and the highly coveted role of Tina Lord Roberts on TV's One Life to Live. That yeah. was a, a crackerjack uh, role uh, played by uh, Andrea Evans for many years. And the response to this uh, new actress has been overwhelmingly positive. Not only is she beautiful and talented, but listen to this, she's a biology major who's been traveling around the world doing things since, since she, she was, was 15, 15 years old. Absolutely. Yeah. So here's a very multi-talented uh, actress who's d definitely going places, Miss Karen Witter. Love that suit. Oh, thank you. Yes. What size is that suit? It's my size. <laughs> Your size, yes. Clever woman. Yes, she sure is. <laughs> or else she's heard a lot about you. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this, this role, you know, everybody knew uh, Tina Roberts. Mm -hmm. Tina Lord Roberts. Tina was, Lord Roberts. Yeah, Tina Lord Roberts from that show. Mm -hmm. Played by one actress for a long time, went mm -hmm. out to Hollywood. And so it was open, and uh, you took it over. Any uh, apprehension about that? Well, the truth is that I was not aware of, of the popularity of the role. I had never really watched the show mm -hmm. before. So I didn't have as much apprehension as I might have because I didn't know that there was anything to be worried about. Yeah, sure. You know? So it's so. an advantage. Yeah. It, it, Ignorance it was, is bliss. It, it actually was. It worked out fine, yeah. actually. Well, they must have auditioned a ton of people for that, for that role, That's right? what I heard, yeah. yeah. And, and, and the other thing that was good is I didn't know that they auditioned so many people until after I got the part, which was nice, also too. Good. Did you yeah. come from another, another soap? Sometimes. No, I've never done a soap. How's it? You've done a lot of episodic work. I I've done some episodic work, and yeah. Big change. It's totally different. It's, it's bizarre. nice to have a secure life, though, in terms yeah. of getting a paycheck every week. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, security's never been one of my um, things that I really strive for, so that hasn't been something that I've been. But I appreciate it. I mean, I really yeah. enjoy it. That's right. It. You have been caught sort of a free spirit with a lot of adventure in your soul. It's huh? unbelievable what you've been doing since 15. Since you were 15? Well, it's, it, I, I left when I was 15. I came back home. I was at home basically till I was 18. I just went places and then came back. Yeah, but back. tell them where you went yeah, and what you did. Yeah, let's hear all about it. Well, yeah. when I was uh, 15, I went to this town called Jaramillo, which is a really small town in uh, Mexico. <laughs> and um, I went with a bunch of people and we built a schoolhouse. And then I came back. That was just during a summer time. So I came back and went to school. And then I went to Montana and uh, worked on a ranch there when I was 17. And then I went and sailed to Hawaii when I was 18, I think, right in there. But that was a two-year thing. I lived in Hawaii for about two years, yeah. But I sailed there. It's all by yourself? Did I live there by myself or did I sail there by well, myself? Well, I mean, all of these places you're going and working and doing and seeing and having and going and... <laughs> By yourself? Uh, so, no, uh, I didn't start going places by myself until just like last year. I went to Costa Rica and Guatemala by myself last well, year. Who did you go with when you were 15? Mommy well, and Daddy? No, no, a group of people that, um, like a, a like charity a organization. Type thing? Yeah, it wasn't Peace Corps, yeah, but, but it was like one that. of those kind of things. Yeah. Good. So you can't get most yeah. 15 year olds to go to their own school, much no. less go to Mexico and build one for somebody <laughs> yeah, else. Yeah, but there was something about it, you know, being around in some place where they didn't really have much of anything, oh, you yeah. know? <laughs> you also uh, did some time as a stewardess, right? On a hot air balloon, right? No, nope. on a hot air balloon. Yes. <laughs> Always got to be different. Don't you love these? It wasn't Pan Am. Yeah. No, no. It was on a, a nice hot balloon, air balloon, though. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But first class all the way. <laughs> Did you serve things on this? Yeah, we, we served, or I served champagne. I was the only one. There's not that much room for more than one stewardess. But um, I served uh, champagne, and, and it, was, it was just really a beautiful, beautiful experience. I, I did that one time, hot did air you, ballooning, and like the la I loved it until I landed, and we sort of went over on the side and were dragged for about 100 feet. Yeah, that and happens. you were serving champagne and everything. I was reading about that with, you said couples that are celebrating their 50th anniversary yeah. and everything. Did you ever tip over and drag a couple of people, like 100, with a not, champagne glass? Not too far, no. <laughs> and most of, you know, most of the champagne was gone by the time because you're up there for quite a while. But. What would be so bad about being dragged <laughs> through some mud with her? <laughs> I could live. <laughs> Live it off. So we're not going to show the clip? Why not? Oh, yeah, let's show it. I'd like to... What's that, Gelman? Take up the rest of the segment. Yeah, I think I'd like to see you, Karen. I haven't had a chance to see you in this role yet. When did you join the cast over there? Uh, the beginning of May. Beginning of May. Mm -hmm. Well, fine. Well, now let's take a look at you now as you try to reason with your ex-husband. Yeah. Who's that? Cord? Cord, Cord yeah, yes. Cord no, there's proud. no reasoning with him. He's a very unreasonable guy. <laughs> no, let's take a look at Karen Widow. One life to live. 
I really want you to think about this. I want you to really think about this, because I can't go through this again, this this whole cycle of, of getting back together and then getting angry and getting bitterness and then breaking up, and, and, and you can't go through it again. And CJ can't go through it again. I mean, it would just tear him apart. Okay? So I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to take a shower and get this stuff off me. I'll, I'll think about what you said. Okay, please do that. Because the rest of our future really depends on it, okay? It really does. It's really important. Oh, babe. <laughs> you are so bad today. You really is. I apologize. Oh, Thank a you little fun. Kind. I just have a little fun with you in court. Now, what's going to happen with you two kids? Are you getting back together well, again? Well, we're, we, we're, you know, we're trying you've been, to. You've been so mean to You're him. trying to establish trust, right? Because you've yeah. broken his heart and the guy... I know. I'm, I'm so sorry about that. I really... Are I, you sincere I didn't mean now? to. Yeah. I'm extremely <laughs> sincere. Because you're fooling around with that gangster last time I don't I want to it. fool around with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fifteen years old, fooling around with a gangster in Alaska or something. <laughs> Anyway, Karen, it was nice having you it on the nice show. It was nice Good luck to you. Nice Thank to you. Nice you. to have you here in New York. We'll be back with some instant cleaning, cleaning tips. Thursday on Live, the Osmond Boys.